from doctor protection. If you're already a martial arts practitioner, or a karateka, as they would call it, uh, of any type, if you're not training in the martial arts world, or karate, or kung fu, or tank sudo, or taekwondo, or judo, or whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. If you're not training in a martial art, you need to start immediately. To be safe, you must have an education. You must be trained in some type of martial arts training. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. I'm not just trying to tell you to come, hey, you got to join Heimlich's Power Karate Systems, okay? Yes, I would love to have you as my student, and yes, you know, I would love to get new people in this karate school, but I'm not trying to advertise my school, okay? I'm trying to let people know how delicate and how important it is for people to be involved in some type of martial arts training. Men, women, and children. And I know that's hard for you to understand, but men, women, and children all need, must have, some type of training. Now, let me ask you a quick question. Is it not true that growing up all your life, you're in school, uh, even in the work environment, every month, there's a fire drill, okay? Why do you think we have a fire drill every single month, all your entire life? Is to train you for that one specific moment in time, in case there's ever an emergency, and there's a fire. What are you going to do? How are you going to handle it? Where are you going to go? You need to know exactly what you have to do to be successful and overcome the situation, overcome the fear, overcome the emotions, know where to go, know what to do. In a panic mode, you need to be able to make clear decisions, life and death decisions, okay? So, martial arts is the same thing, folks. It's training you for an emergency situation. And let's face it. We live in the most violent society on earth. You know, I can sit here and tell you the statistics, and they're staggering. The statistics on violence is, uh, you know, the, the, the Center for Disease Control called murder an epidemic. <laughs> Folks, we got to learn how to protect ourselves. It's, it's that serious. Okay. I'm Dr. Protection, yours in safety, and I'm looking out for you. You should do the same. Thank you.